Okay, I'm in America, uh, Arizona to be exact. As you can see around me, we have some beautiful open areas and um, the plan for today is basically to just shoot a whole lot of guns and destroy stuff. So, you know, not much of an agenda. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm out here with Dylan. What's up guys? And with Ben. And we've got just a whole lot of guns. We've got some watermelons and some, some pumpkins and uh, it should be an absolute blast. So follow along with us, let's see what happens. We're gonna start off small with the Beeman R7 with a Steve Corcoran custom made stock on here. Shoot some of these clay pigeons and then we'll work up to some of the bigger stuff. A lot of you want to see more springer shooting on my channel. I don't often get to shoot springers, but I do actually enjoy shooting them, and especially um, quality guns like this. this you, you know a quality springer when you take a shot with it, and uh, these Beeman guns are, are very, very well made. The German-made guns are very, very good, and you can just feel that when you take a shot. It feels solid. Except when the safety doesn't. To be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm shooting, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's how you take care of it. <laughs> nice. That was cool. Yeah. So I just blast the can anyway. Yeah. Okay. Let's blast the can. Nice. Bye bye, can. <laughs> now I have um, shot with a normal 2-2 long rifle cartridge, 2-2 long rifle pistol, a fair bit before, and to me it was quite surprising the step up from 2-2 long rifle to 2-2 magnum. It's a really big step up, despite the um, you know the case capacity only being a slight bit larger. If you can look at this can here, yeah, it's completely destroyed. So I'm a I'm a new fan of the 2-2 magnum, and it's definitely something I would consider getting, especially considering that the, the uh, cartridges aren't too expensive to buy either. So, lots of fun. Right, so next up we have a Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun and we are shooting buckshot. So, this should be really interesting. It's gonna definitely uh, give that pumpkin a nice uh, explosion. So, let's see what we can do. Nice. Yep. There's not much left of that bad boy. <laughs> Got it. My Bacal Russian made uh, 28 gauge over and under. Uh, we're having fun out here just blowing up some squashes and small pumpkins and whatnot, so it's a blast. Small pumpkins here? Yeah, with that. Actually, let's, let's do a little squash. Let's do a little squash. So this is a M1 Grand. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know much about the rifle, but it's a pleasure to be able to hold such a beautiful piece of machinery and to be able to come out here and just shoot it. I mean, it's a, it's a real pleasure. It really is. This gun is a lot of fun and extremely accurate. That's an exciting gun.
Okay, a few things to note here that I found quite interesting. Uh, this is the pumpkin we just shot with the M1 and I immediately knew I was expecting them to kind of explode a bit but the first thing I noticed is that the very very clean entrance hole and not much of an exit to speak of either so these these bullets obviously I think they're full metal jacket bullets are not expanding very much so the gun while it's got a lot of you know a lot of energy um, it's not really the bullets aren't expanding much so they're pretty much going clean through whereas if we look at the pumpkin that was shot earlier with the the shotgun with the, the buckshot, you can see it's done a lot of damage. So those little buckshot uh, balls are doing a lot more damage than the simply because they're so soft and they actually mushroom and open up a little bit. Um, doesn't mean that this has more energy than this. It's just got to do with the bullet design. So I just find it really interesting. Saved the most powerful for last. Uh, this is the one that we think is going to give us the most uh, destruction on those uh, pumpkins and watermelons out there. This is a 270 WSM, and I'll talk about the 270 WSM cartridge shortly, um, but this is actually the rifle that uh, Robert Buchanan took to South Africa when he did his uh, hunting over in South Africa. So um, it has taken quite a few animals. It's a really nice hunting rifle. And um, when I say a 270 WSM, here the, here's the cartridge over here. The 270 WSM is based on a 300 WSM cartridge which essentially gives the same performance as a 300 Win Mag and if you know anything about cartridges 300 Win Mag is a very potent cartridge so you're essentially getting the power of a 300 Win Mag but neck down to 270 caliber so it's going to be flying really really fast and we've got a soft lead tip so this bullet is not going to hold together uh, like we saw on the M1 do it's not going to pencil straight through uh, those uh, fruits out there it's going to it's going to absolutely blow them up so I'm very excited to see what this can do Let's do it. Oh, it didn't quite explode, but... That's cool. Just right through yeah. it, huh? Right, so... Not quite the explosion that I expected, but it definitely expanded. The entry hole is still fairly small, but if you look at the exit here, it's opened up a lot. And you won't see inside there, but essentially inside this, everything's been hollowed out, so... There's been a lot of power. I'm expecting the watermelon to explode though. So let's take a shot at the watermelon and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, there you go. So I put a second shot in it and uh, it smells disgusting. But there you can see just the, 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 the bullet obviously expanded quite nicely inside. You can actually see little tiny bits of lead uh, inside there so obviously the bullets fragmented a bit and, and done a lot of damage so that's what you want to see from a hunting bullet Well, that's pretty uh, definitive. Um, I was a bit uh, interested at first when, that, when I shot that first pumpkin with this rifle and we didn't see much happening. Uh, but when we shot a softer target like the watermelon and this last yellow fruit, which I don't know what that fruit is, but when we shot the, these last few things, we've seen the, the, what this gun can do. It's very, very cool. Um, here are the last remains of the watermelon, pretty much just shredded. And that's what the, the tissue of, a, of an animal would look like if you had shot it, uh, pretty much destroyed. And that's why this is a good hunting cartridge. Um, and then the tin cans were just absolutely shredded. So that is absolutely awesome. And I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it there. We've had so much fun, but the sun's starting to go down. So we're probably gonna head back. In closing, I just wanna give a huge thank you to Egans of Arizona, just firstly for hosting me and being just fantastic hosts. And, and allowing me to come out to beautiful Arizona and spend a, spend a few days here. 
and also for hosting the Extreme Bench Rest, which is such an amazing competition. Hopefully you're going to see some stuff on the Extreme Bench Rest on my channel coming up. Um, it should be really, really cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And I wish I'd kept the camera rolling after this because there was so much drama that unfolded. Basically what happened was someone had left the lights on in the truck. So the truck was out of battery power. We could not get the, the engine started. And we realized that, you know, in the middle of the desert, hours from the closest city, with no cell phone signal, no water, and hardly any battery life left, it quickly became a question of, are we even going to survive this or not? To cut a long story short, we went into full survival mode, made a fire, turned our cell phones off to save battery life, and prepared to basically sleep out in the desert for the night. And then all of a sudden, in the distance, we see headlights of a vehicle, and we start sprinting through the desert in the darkness, cutting our legs on the thorn trees on the way, and manage to flag down this truck. Anyway, these people decide to help us, they jumpstart the truck, and in about 15 minutes to half an hour, we're on our way back home, and danger is averted, but it could have ended very differently. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.